This is the Bunker Business Guide of 2023. There are in total 11 bunkers to choose from. Let me show you which bunker you should buy. First, open up your phone and head over to Maze Bank. Filter for bunker and here you will see all the locations. If you got the criminal starter pack, this one is free all the way on top of the map. It's not an ideal location since if you're selling in the city, it's going to take a lot of time doing that. But if you're broke, you can use this in the beginning and switch locations later. The location which I got is all all the way on the left the two mask bunker it's easily accessible when resupplying your bunker and when selling in the city it's just one simple road to get there another great location is in this area most people have their other businesses located over here such as the mc business which makes resupplying a lot quicker now for the upgrades you don't need any of them it won't affect your earnings in any way if you have the money you could reconsider buying the personal quarters this allows you to set your spawn location in the bunker business which can save you a lot of traveling time now it's time to set up the bunker business so you can start making money with this for the first time enter your business to get started, you'll have to pick up a truck and deliver this back to the bunker. This will give you a full supply bar. Once that's finished, go to your laptop and register yourself as a CEO. Open the laptop and you'll see different options displayed on the left side. It's important that you first go to manage staff. Make sure you only have the option assign staff to manufacturing enabled. If not, you're going to miss out on a lot of money. This is because you can use the supplies for making money, doing research, or both at the same time. By choosing the second option, you'll gain access to an array of new options such as attachments for your weapons, military vehicle equipment upgrades, MOC upgrades, and a variety of additional options for your current weapon stash that wouldn't otherwise be available in the game. Do keep in mind, you'll get zero dollars from this. There's a third option to assign staff to manufacturing as well as doing research. You will make less money with this, but a part of your supply will go to the research progress. In the research tab, you can see which current project you are going to unlock. If you want, you can use the fast track option, which allows you to buy the research for a specific price off. You're also able to view all the unlocked items which you can get while researching. There are two ways to make money with this business. First, I've talked a few times already about the supplies. This is how it works. You have two options. If you steal the supplies, it's completely free. You have to get a vehicle for this and deliver this back to your business. I don't recommend doing this since it's going to waste a lot of your time, which you could put into other money making methods. Instead, buy the supplies, which will cost you 75k. Right now for me, it is 45k since I still have some supplies left. All you need to do is resupply the business every 2 hours and 20 minutes and the supplies will be turned into the final product. In total you have to resupply the business 5 times for a full product bar taking you 11 hours and 40 minutes. In the right bottom corner you will see the current values. But this isn't going to earn you the maximum amount of money you can with the business if you don't have the upgrades. On the left side of your laptop choose upgrades it's important to know what each upgrade does and which one you need to buy the equipment upgrade which is a must-have for your business but also the most expensive one coming at one million one hundred and fifty five thousand dollars the benefit of this upgrade is that your supplies are turned faster into stock and at the same time the price increases next the staff upgrade which is the cheapest upgrade at almost six hundred thousand dollars this is going to make you even more money where you both got the staff and equipment upgrade this will also speed up the production rate and increase your stock value the equipment upgrade is more expensive but does make you a lot more money than the staff upgrade so get the equipment upgrade first and then the staff upgrade we still have a third upgrade available which is the security upgrade for three hundred and fifty thousand dollars this will prevent your business from getting raided but you actually don't need to buy this your business only gets raided if the stock is over 50 percent since you're selling solo you always want to sell at half stock which means it's not necessary to buy the security upgrade you could sell at full stock because it's possible to get one vehicle but there's always a chance of getting four vehicles which means you can't sell it solo if you get the four vehicles you will have to join a new session for this which removes 31.5k of your earnings each time you do this so i would highly recommend you sell the supply bar when it's filled at 25 percent 
which always get you one vehicle or when it's filled at 50 percent you will only get two vehicles max do not forget when you're selling go in an in-fight only lobby this will prevent you from getting headaches from griefers in this game which can turn your earnings all the way to zero if you do decide to sell in a public session do the following once you start the sell mission ideally with only one vehicle join the ghost organization this will remove you off the entire map for three minutes allowing you to deliver these supplies with hopefully less trouble also for each player that's in there you'll get a two percent extra payout but it is risky when selling make sure you always sell to los santos this will get you the most amount of money for your product that you possibly can make the second way to make money with the bunker business is with this car here you can start the ammunition contracts where you will be delivering weapon parts once you enter the vehicle a location will be marked on your map where you need to drive to while you're on your way to deliver the weapon parts enemies will spawn nearby you but you can easily take them down or choose to ignore them as they are relatively slow you have 15 minutes to complete the delivery but it usually takes around five minutes if you know how to drive a little bit the first time you complete the delivery you'll earn 150k after that every delivery you make you will earn 50k which is not bad at all for a few minutes of work and don't forget every 48 minutes you can start this delivery again which can be helpful if you're just starting out and need to cover the cost of the supplies which is 70k now that you know how to make money with the ammunition contracts let me show you the cost and your earnings with the bunker business product in total the chumash bunker location the equipment and staff upgrade will cost you 3.4 million dollars now as for profits per hour you have to resupply your business five times meaning that the supplies cost of your bunker will be 375k a full bunker sells for one million and fifty thousand dollars coming down to a profit of 675k it takes 11 hours and 40 minutes to fill up your entire bunker which is in total 700 minutes divide the profits by the minutes and multiply it times 60 which comes down to making fifty seven thousand eight hundred and fifty seven dollars per hour by selling the stock but you might not want to buy the bunker business since the asset lab earns you way more money and instead of paying 3.4 million dollars to unlock the business with the asset lab you only have to pay 750k and can actually make way more money by speeding up the process in this video i've exactly explained step by step how you can do that